Hi everyone, how is everyone doing? I have a dream I want to share with you guys. And um, it's not one of those dreams that um, I wanted to share with you guys. But it's something I used to talk about long ago, years ago. I'm not sure why the Lord brought it back to my attention. But when I saw this dream, I was like, oh, MG. Like, I feel like. This is something I really do need to share. So, especially in the time that we're living in right now, I was on a, I think a two, three, no, three day fast. I think I was on a three day fast. And on the last day of my fast, I had this dream, which was um, April 15th. So it seems like the dreams are only coming to me nowadays, only when I fast. It's like the Lord definitely want to speak to us when we're vulnerable. Our body is completely vulnerable. And this is how he talks to me. So this is the dream I want to share with you guys. This is the dream that I had. I shared it on my prayer group and I want to share it with you guys. So this is what I saw in my dream. I saw that I was, um, that I was running late for my flight. I was talking to a friend and I was being rushed out of my friend's house, completely rushed out. And I remember I was given a key after I was done giving the, um, receiving the key. I, um, I ran and caught my flight. I thought I was going to be late, but I made it just in time to catch my flight. So when I caught my flight, all of a sudden, I'm inside my I'm inside the plane, and the plane had to do a, a early, you know, like an emergency um, landing somewhere. And this place where I ended up, this is what I saw. I I I don't even remember getting off of the plane, but somehow I end up in a street, and I'm looking at the street sign and the sign says Arkansas so that's what the sign says Arkansas and I made a, a a left I turned left I was walking I turned left and then I see the big statue of um I see a huge statue Abraham Lincoln statue all of a sudden I realized I'm in Washington DC and I don't even know how I got here so I'm in Washington and I'm like I'm panicking a little because I knew this this is not where my destination was where I wanted to go so I was panicking a li little and I um I, I try to leave but as I was trying to leave, I noticed a mob full of people was coming in, was coming towards the statue. I'm I'm literally watching the whole scene. I've never been, I've never been to Washington D.C. I've never seen the big statue of Abraham Lincoln, and there was like steps, bunch of steps you had to go to, to get to the statue. That's how high up it was standing, and. I remember all of a sudden I see there was a big crowd, a huge crowd came and there was a lot of people there. And then the first person that came out was Kamara Harris. She came out, right? She came out and she was super ecstatic, super hyper, super happy. And it was a huge crowd, you guys. I mean... The crowd went all the way from far, 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 far distance, miles and miles away. Like you can't even count how many people were there. And everybody was clapping, everybody was screaming, yeah, like they were excited about something. And this lady came out with the biggest grinch smile in her face. She came out and she was like, Introducing everyone, introducing the one and only true king. I was like, a king? What, what is she talking about? A king. And then I see, 
the person she was representing as to be crowned as our new king. By the way, we didn't have a president anymore. We had a king over our nation. Oh my goodness. And the person that they crowned as our king, it was Barack Obama. <laughs> yes. I could not believe what I was seeing. I'm like, why are they crowning him? And everybody, she was so happy. When I said this woman was so happy to introduce Obama as their king. And then you see him standing like, okay. <laughs> sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, my recording must be horrible right now. Okay, sorry. So, and then you see him, right? So, as I was explaining, you see a Barack Obama, I'm sorry, it was just too much. So you see him s sitting there. You see the way Abraham Lincoln is sitting. He was sitting the same way. And now I didn't see the statue anymore. The statue was no longer there. And Obama was sitting on the position, the, the, the place where the statue was supposed to be. So it was Obama sitting there and he had this long, not a cane, but like a, you know, like a specter, uh, something long that he was holding. And then he had a crown and he was just standing there as if he was the king of this country. And they crowned him as king. Yeah. And everybody was happy. Everybody was like clapping. Everybody was crying. So ecstatic of who became the king over this country. Um, I was not very happy about this. I was very, very, very shocked and very anxious and upset. And I just, the first thing that came in my head, the first thing that came in my head in the dream, I was like, I know he's not the, I don't know why I said that. I'm just telling you guys. I was like, I know he's not the Antichrist. Is he one of the 10 kings being crowned? Oh my God, they crowned him as one of the kings because they kept saying he was a king. And then um, he was the king over this country, this nation. So I don't know. I mean, during the time of the beast reigning, there's 10 kings over 10 nations so i don't know if this is what we all been seeing because a lot of people think obama was the antichrist i don't think so because i've seen i've seen the antichrist in my dream one a dream that the lord revealed to me long ago and this guy was very young very very attracted in the appeal i mean the man looks so you could literally be lost in the look. I mean, the way he looked. Like you could, you, your your eyesight can completely hypnotize you. I mean, he hypnotizes you just by his beauty. That's how beautiful this man was. And it was not Obama. But in this dream, Obama was crowned king over America. So I feel like, I don't know, I could be wrong. You know, I could be wrong. I 100% could be wrong. I just feel like this man is going to be who will be crowned king over this nation out of the 10 kings. <sighs> but you guys can take all this to God. I just wanted to share this dream with you guys. God bless you guys. May the Lord continue to heal us from any brokenness, any heartache, any suffering, pain, sickness, disease, financial bur um, burdens. I pray that God will allow us to be free from all these bondage. But take all of this to the Lord and be at peace, brothers and sisters in Christ, because things are about to go haywire. Stay faithful to God. Try to stay faithful as best as you can. And if you shall sin, repent. Just repent. And truly try your best to turn away from your sins and walk away from them. Like you really got to try to work, walk away from them. And um, try to just receive the Lord and repent. Keep, keep repenting. 
God bless everyone. Take care, you guys. Take care. Because so much is about to go down. And we're watching our nation and the world. How everything's starting to change. Everything is changing in this world. <sighs> Shalom. Hey, brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to read this really quick before I leave. Again, um, Revelation 17, it, it talks about the 10 kings and what they are appointed for. So I'm going to read Revelation 17, verse 12. The 10 horn of the beast are 10 king who have not yet risen to power. They will be appointed to their kingdoms for one brief moment to reign with the beast. They will all agree to give him their power and authority. Together they will go to war against the lamb, but the lamb will defeat them because he is Lord of all the Lord and King of all kings. And his called, he's called and chosen and faithful ones will be with him. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now was Revelation 17 verse 12 all the way to 14. I'm just reading this because, you know, it'll point, it, it aligns with this dream that I had on the 15th. God bless everyone. I just wanted to share this dream with you guys. You have a wonderful, blessed, blessed day. Shalom.